Alright, so I'm going to run through a whole bunch of examples now, um, just so you can see how these problems work, the different variations, and what to do with checking your answer when it really matters. Okay, so in this first example, um, I've written down the six steps that we're going to need. And in this first example, we need to first find the LCD. Well, here we have two denominators, x plus 3 and x minus 3. And their product, because they have nothing in common, they have no factor in common, their product is going to be the LCD. Okay, so we're going to multiply both sides by that LCD, which is just the product of these two, um, these two factors. So I'm going to start with uh, multiplying by an x plus 3 and an x minus 3. That is the LCD. I'm going to do that on both sides of the equation, x plus 3 x minus 3. No different than what we've been doing. I'm just using a more complicated least common denominator. Uh, we're going to then cancel common factors, right? Reduce the fractions by canceling common factors. So the x plus 3 on top and bottom cancel off here. The x minus 3 on top and bottom cancel off here. And then we're going to be distributing the 6 and the 4. So we have 6 times 3, or x minus 3, the 6 times x, and 6 times negative 3. And on the right, I distribute the 4, that'd be 4x, and 12. Okay, everything else canceled out. And now we can go through and just solve this. So, so we just did the simplifying. Now we're going to solve. And so that is, um, you know, add 18 to both sides. Those will drop out. Um, subtract the 4x from both sides. Those will drop out. And we're going to have 2x equals 30. Divide by 2 and you're going to have 15. Okay, so I just took care of the solve portion. Then we're going to check our answers. Um, in this case, we only have one answer. And when I check it, back in the original, uh, put a 15 in there. 15 plus 3 is 18. 15 minus 3 is 12. Neither of those equals 0. And as long as they do not equal 0, we can use the 15 as a solution. So in this case, our final answer is going to be the solution set which is a set containing 15. Okay. okay, so that takes us through our six steps. Uh, another example, and again, um, I'm not going to have the six steps written down in every example, so we'll just try to keep in mind those steps as we go. Find the LCD, multiply both sides by it, reduce the fractions, simplify and solve, check your answer, and write out a solution set. Okay, so here's our next example. Um, this one has three terms. Two denominators, well, technically the two has a denominator as well, has a one, uh, but the denominators are the same. And so the LCD part isn't too bad here. The LCD is just that denominator of x plus three. And so that is what I'm going to multiply. Whoa, can't see that, can you? There it is. Uh, that is what I'm going to multiply in all three parts of this equation. Okay, so I'm going to start out multiplying on the left by x plus 3, in the middle by an x plus 3, and on the right by an x plus 3. Remember, every term, every term has to get hit by an x plus 3. So we've got this first term, second term, third term, all of them get multiplied by that. Then we're going to cancel common factors. So there's an x plus 3 and an x plus 3. Those get canceled. Here's an x plus 3 and an x plus 3. Those get canceled. The third term does not have a common factor. And so now we just simplify whatever is left over. Right? So the fourth step is to simplify. Um, it's going to be an x plus 6. Just a 3 there. Here I'm going to distribute the 2. I'm going to get 2x plus 6. 
then we're going to um, I'll combine our terms here simplify a little bit more it'd be 2x 3 and 6 makes 9 and then solve subtract your 6 and subtract the 2x and let's see that's going to be a negative x right positive 1 minus 2 and 9 minus 6 is 3 and when I divide out the negative 1 here we will get negative 3 as our answer okay now I don't want to put that right into the solution set yet because again the fifth step is to check our answer so I'm going to take negative 3 and plug it in the problem here is that when I plug in negative 3 negative 3 plus 3 gives me 0 so as a quick check um, when I plug in the negative 3 to the denominator I get a 0 right a 0 here and I'm going to get a 0 there so a 0 in the denominator negative 3 makes a 0 in the denominators it actually does it twice um, but it only needs to do that once as long as there's a 0 in a denominator it can't be a solution so negative 3 is not a solution and if negative 3 is not a solution and I didn't find any other solutions then that must mean that there is no solution to this equation so we would say there is no solution uh, or in set form I prefer that you guys write it as an empty set however my math lab I believe is going to want these written as the circle with a slash through them um, I prefer the empty set but again it doesn't really matter you can write either of those two okay no solution on that one now the final example for this video is going to be a much bigger equation and this one has a much more difficult least common denominator um, in fact if I were to factor just to see what's in the factors of this first denominator the factors of that denominator are going to be um, x plus 4 and x minus 2 because 4 and negative 2 multiply to give you negative 8 and add up to 2. And so the LCD here is actually going to be that product because in the LCD I want to make sure that every factor gets hit uh, or gets included so the LCD here is going to be x plus 4 times x minus 2 so every factor is included and now I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by that LCD or essentially I'm going to multiply every term by that LCD okay now this is where it gets a little bit difficult because of the space uh, but I'm going to multiply here by an x plus 4 and an x minus 2. I'm going to multiply here by x plus 4 and x minus 2. And I'm going to multiply this third term by x plus 4 and x minus 2. Okay. We're then going to cancel common factors. So x plus 4, x plus 4, x minus 2, x minus 2. Those all get canceled. Um, in the second fraction, I'm, the x minus 4 will cancel out. And in the third fraction, the x minus 2s will cancel out. And so when I simplify, the first fraction, this whole bottom is gone. And so all I have is the top, 2x minus 1. Right? The entire denominator got canceled out. On the second fraction, I have a 2 and an x minus 2. I should distribute the 2 with the x minus 2 and I'm going to get a 2x minus 4. 
on the third fraction, I have a 1 and an x plus 4 left over. The 1 can distribute. I just get x plus 4. And now I need to solve this equation. So we're going to combine our like terms. We get 4x minus 5 equals x plus 4. Um, let's go ahead and add the 5 to zero that out. And let's subtract an x to zero that out. We'll get 3x equals 9. And if I divide out the 3, we should get x equal to 3. Okay, so that takes care of the simplify and solve steps. Now to check my answer, I just take this 3 and plug it in to each of the three denominators. Now in the first denominator, 3 squared, maybe I'll do the check over here on the side, I'm just checking the denominator. So 3 squared is 9, uh, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 8, 9 plus 6 is 15, minus 8 is 7. So that's not a 0, so we're good there. Here I get a uh, I get a 3 plus 4, which is 7 also, so that's okay. And here I get a 3 uh, minus 2, which is 1. As long as none of those denominators become 0, we're okay. So 3 is a solution. I'm going to put that in the solution set, and we're all done with that problem.